And maybe less Cassiopeia as well. Uh, Kindred will be the first band. Yarrick as well. Okay, so nothing really out of the ordinary. We saw so much Kindred in the first couple of days, along with Cannon, along with Lulu. And uh, not seen a bunch of that in the last couple. Smurfs Fiora has also been really good this tournament. Another melee champion that has a really cool passive in a 1v1 yeah. situation. Repost is a really cool skill as well. So might be something he can utilize on the Snowdown Showdown map. Callista, Urgot will be the next two bands. We've seen uh, that Urgot is only superior to Urgot. And Callista has just been generally solid over the storm. We've seen uh, that Callista has been cancelled out by Cass uh, Cassiopeia, but you have to have those, mechanic uh, those mechanics on Cassiopeia, and there's not that many players in this tournament who will have that. Caitlyn will be the final band coming in from Choo Choo's. Yeah, so Choo's just getting rid of all the annoying normal champions that we see. Karma also joins the bench to round everything out. And we'll see what the players want to pick. <laughs> we will. That, that is how the champion select works, Spawn. Um, Karma will be the final ban. I hope it's barred. I hope it's I barred. I really hope it's barred. But Smurf has locked in Kennen. Boring. Maybe he wants trying to, to win. mind game Choose here. Win. Last time Choose saw Kennen in this tournament, did not go too well. That's, <laughs> that's very true. Yeah, sure, let's go. <laughs> There's no jungler this time, so actually uh, Gang can get double killed. So it may actually work out. Potentially. Brand would be very exciting with how his passive works. AD or AP? I would go AD. Okay. Just because the, uh, the mastery is going to be useful on either. His auto attack is actually really smooth. I don't know if you caught that on camera, but Smurf for the Chiefs just didn't know what to make of the brand as it was locked in. It was like, what? I, I don't. Okay. Well, Max Q brand also has a really long, like, level two, he has a great stun. That's why you see so much support yep. play. And then it's like a three second cooldown where you just keep throwing it out. So. Definitely think there is value in this pickup, and his passive is surprisingly annoying. I keep forgetting what that mastery is called. Which one? The like one on the do? right side of the first tree. What? Death Fire Touch? Death Touch. Okay. Yeah, he'll just go for that to synergize with Burning. Yeah. Uh, he'll probably also go with the uh, Corrupting potion, potion, which also synergizes with Burning. And uh, Cannon will do a lot of Burning. So maybe he actually goes AP then and just goes for the level 2 all in, walks at him, easy him. Sees if he can set something up. Maybe. And has a great skin, by the way. Oh, yeah. Spirify brand definitely up there on the tier list of skins. But uh, do you think you can take anything from players who put their uh, Ignite and Exhaust on different keys? Where do you put your Ignite? I am a Flash on D player in Ignite. Flash on D. But okay. F is for Flash. No, not F is lash. for... Yep. Can't say it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> But I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, moving on. So Choo Choo is <laughs> going into this but will be the first one there. Smurf looking for another one himself. Actually, good read by Smurf. Knowing that Choo Choo's would be heading up, literally just doubles back. Didn't even have vision of Choo Choo's at that point. And Yamato would be very proud because Choo's has gone with W. So he's just going to look to shove wave number one. And this is AP. Yeah, 41 AP, in <laughs> fact. <laughs> uh, that's literally like a full AP page, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, it is. Electrical Surge is the uh, is the skill of choice by Smurf. Choo Choo's just chilling out under tower. <coughs> and what can we what can we have happen here? <coughs> so coming in to this one v one, the minion wave is coming in. Choo Choo's literally just way easier for him to get the early damage Ooh, in. Oh, and first he got one Smurf. Lands. There's no corrupting potion though, so actually not going to be burning too hard. But the passive still will apply. Yeah. You can see that he has complete control over the minion wave. And 100% CS so far. Oh, misses that one. And yeah. misses a creep. So I'm a liar on both accounts. I just want to see Choo Choo's actually, he's making sure this normalizes so he can actually keep the advantage. To actually Smurf slightly ahead in the CS. I want to see the level two here. Both players one away. Smurf will get it first. There we go. Doesn't do anything with it though. Yeah, Choose also misses another W. Not throwing him yeah. the wave, that's really strange to me. I mean, is it one of two things you do. You, you bring out the W, you try and get the stun that way, or you just go E, so you get the guaranteed... Um, Burn. Yeah, and then you just Q them. Yeah, I would go E right now. I would just make sure... Oh, he's actually going Q, so... Choose going at... He's lost control of the wave, he's lost yeah. control of everything. He probably needs to start shoving out, seeing if he can normalize the map. Gets that one. Out, lands onto Smurf, but there's not a lot of damage. You only have one point in that ability so far. Yes, you have all of that AP, but uh, Smurf, as soon as he puts points in E as well, he gets, uh, gets the extra resistances. Smurf's all in is going to get a lot stronger than Choo Choo's. Certainly is, and I'm also thinking like Choo's combo is really predictive, and if Smurf can nail that, 
Electrical Surge, gets all the added resistances, going to be able to run away. So Smurf so far showing that he's very familiar with the brand matchup, even though he was shot. Yeah, once again, another Electrical Surge, and Smurf takes a bunch of damage there. This mini wave's coming in, though, and it's going to be next to impossible for a brand to really clear that. He's going to have to uh, QEW if he wants to get all of these. But uh, actually, you know, not doing too badly. The mini wave didn't hit the turret because Smurf went back for his uh, relic over actually just pushing the wave in. Oh, and, and he, he gets stunned down. up. He gets the stun as well. The ignite should be coming down. Choo Choo's actually doesn't use it. So Smurf uses the exhaust. Now Choo Choo's has the advantage. Yeah, that was a huge mind game. As soon as Choo's got exhausted, he just stopped using mana. He didn't want to waste anything else. Threw a couple of auto attacks out, backed out of the trade, and now should have a huge advantage if it comes to another scrappy little fight. Yeah, that is actually quite a big deal. Both of them now have the tricks as well, but Vision hasn't really paid too much into this game Here so far. Goes. Another W lands, looks for the Q, lands it again. Now comes in the ignite. Should be able to pick up this kill, the E comes down, the auto, one more, it. it goes to Choo Choo. Yeah, and that was all because Smurf exhausted too early in that trade, cannot get out, the resistances don't matter in the end, and Choo's able to pick up another victory. <laughs> Just confusing Rusty on the way over as well, as he comes over, Choo Choo's OCE turning up in the 1v1 tournament. Yeah, all I'm going to say is Yamato should be petrified with how the Oceanic players are playing.